who's front. Three weeks left to finish the robot. Didn't it work on the bench? Maria's veteran team is test driving their secret weapon. If their plan works, it could give them a huge competitive advantage. Six days a week, her team is building and practicing. But twice a week, Maria must miss robotics for the accelerated math class she fought for. Oh my god, it's a final. <laughs> Four more students have dropped. Only eight remain. Do all your work on a scratch paper, just like you've done in the past. Today, Maria has a big right test. Right to advance to pre-calculus, she has to pass. You solved that. Only hours later, Maria gets good news. Yeah! I got an A. <laughs> She'll be ready for calculus as a senior. Today, to compensate, it starts veering. It's still off. So now you just have to worry about getting the right gear ratio on me. Okay, that's good enough. Yes, let's go home. Go home, do your homework. I'm so tired. Make sure the door's locked. Hoy hicimos nuestro examen final de todo el repaso y me saqué un me saqué una. Got an A on the test. Very good. Thank you. So, how do your parents feel about it? They support you? They do, but I mean, there's not much they can do to support me. So, like, there's no money, and they. Like, Educational-wise, my, my dad dropped out of sixth grade and my mom dropped out of fifth grade because their fathers, both of them, had their fathers pass away. We need to teach our kids that it's not just the winner of the Super Bowl who deserves to be celebrated, but the winner of the science fair. Robotics. <laughs> the Patels are watching President Obama's State of the Union address. The president's focus, education. For Sean, the focus is midterms. I guess tonight I'm probably going to stay up pretty late, too. Um, 12.30, 1-ish. You can't really have bedtime when you have a lot of stuff to get done. I think he's very much the typical American teenager, hanging out with his friends, going to the movies, same old thing. And taking classes that most American teenagers will never take. But in this town, they do. <laughs> Montgomery, New Jersey, population 22,000. Average family income, more than $200,000 a year. It's home to some of the nation's biggest pharmaceutical and tech companies. And what's most important to families here... We knew they had a great school system, and that was really the clincher. Me and Vinay are getting together tomorrow night to uh, study. Right? Education is what, as parents, we could give <coughs> to our kids to give them a sound footing. Do you think he's getting a great education? I do. We have been saying that for weeks. He doesn't, he never believes us. 60 over n squared times g divided by 4 pi squared. At Sean's school, it's mostly children of Asian immigrants who are taking the very top math and science classes. How about 20? How about 20? 20, 20. 20. This is advanced placement physics. So your school is 30% Asian, but when you look at advanced placement classes, physics, 89% of the students taking that class are Asian. Chemistry, 72%. What do you, you think is the reason behind those numbers? It's probably where the student and parents wish to go as far as trying to get into a specific field, uh, engineering or math science, chemistry related fields. And they're kind of charting sense. that path very early on. Asians are 5% of the U.S. population, but they make up more than a quarter of the engineering graduates at top engineering schools like Caltech and MIT. I think it's more like the parenting than it is just being Asian. Well, we think current events are important, Sean. That's why. That's why we ask it, okay? No, I get that. I'm just saying we don't do it in class. It's education. It's like the most important thing. See, he learned. He did it. Grades come first, and I know that, and a lot of kids, a lot of houses are like that. Do Asian families put a greater emphasis on math and science? Do they place a greater value on math and science? I think they see careers in the math and science fields as a way to success. These are poor countries you're talking about, so you're looking for a way out sometimes. Well, all four, just, yeah, well, just double check. And what better way to get it than ensure that you will be able to get a job? 
Perfect. Nice. That's turning. That's the, that's, yeah, that's the reverse for turning, not the forward. Two weeks left, and Brian Whitehead is working on the robot every single day. Everybody ready? Writing code. All right. Here we go. Go. Wow. What'd you do? I don't know. One of them, you have to put as a negative to make it turn. Oh, yeah. Fixing glitches. All right, so that's false. No, this one's true. False, true, false. It should work. I'm gonna try this. Bam. Yes! Hey, it kind of. Yeah. It worked. It worked. What is it finding? In the three-foot line, it worked. Yeah, that's true. So. His rookie team has never done any of this before. This is the mini bot. This is the mini bot, and it is built to climb up this pole. Put it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, it automatically turns on. They gonna win? Yeah. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Because I'm going to try and do this in one motion. Wow! goes really fast. Off with it. That arm needs to get fixed fast. That's here for team 1403. Because across the country, the battle for a spot at finals is getting underway. 